Autism is a communication disorder and it affects with the way people relate uh, when they're in social situations and how they relate with other people. Autism is a condition that has been uh, recognized bet better in the last uh, 30 years and at the moment about half a million people in the UK uh, would meet the diagnosis for an autism spectrum uh, disorder. Hi, I'm Jackie and I'm the parent of a young woman who's got autism and she also has severe learning disabilities. One of the things I think about people with autism is that it can affect people so differently. So what I'm talking about is the perspective of being a parent for my daughter. I can't necessarily talk for other parents. However, one of the things that I found has been really useful has been finding out from parents things that work for their sons or daughters. My daughter likes to say hello to people. If you meet us out and about, she'll say hiya, hiya. That isn't because she knows you, but because she likes to engage with people. Doesn't necessarily understand that people aren't used to somebody approaching them independently. If you answer her when we're in the supermarket queue and say hello back, we're all likely to have a much easier time than if you pretend that she's not there, ignore her and she becomes frustrated. Autism is a lifelong condition. Um, it's not something that will be cured or that people will grow out of. However, getting the right supports in place, having the right experiences, having the right um, attitudes towards people with autism can make all the difference in terms of how they are enjoying their lives and that will also make a huge difference in terms of the kinds of things that they're able to do within society. Hello, uh, my name is David Newell. I'm the development officer with a West Yorkshire based organisation called Specialist Autism Services. And throughout the course of the series of short films, we're going to be talking to people with the condition who have decided to try and get out there a message to the wider public about how the condition impacts upon them. So what we're going to do now is interview some of these people and look at their stories. I knew there was something wrong with me, but I didn't know what. Um, I couldn't understand why I struggled so much to make friends and to socialise. Say I'm on a train and I can't get off, I'll go to one side of the train so the noise is all coming from the same angle rather than all around me. And um, I might, I might um, carry some earplugs or um, a music, um, like an iPod or something to try and drown out the noise. And with the um, if there's a lot of people, a lot of different colours and um, things flashing about, sometimes the only thing you can do is really close your eyes and hope it goes away, basically. I'll stay at the floor. School, it was, it was very difficult for me because a lot of the um, time students would often pick on me or bully me. I think as I got older, there might have been the odd one or so who would look out for me and all that. So, and that made me feel very fortunate. Sometimes I do often wish I could um, prevent those incidents from happening, the negative ones. If I could turn back time, that's what I'd do. And I'll try to make them more aware of my condition, not to get too, um, not, not to get too, too, too involved or anything to a point that would make me uncomfortable, just to make them aware of it, not to um, make them wary of me, just to put, just to make 
them aware of any difficulties I have. Well, I've got quite a few coping strategies. One of them is playing computer games. Another's listening to spot on the radio. Another's listening to music. And another one I've got is humour, which can be very transparent because it, it does wear off after a little bit. But I also go to a lot of fitness classes at my local baths. Like circuits and Zumba. Cause I like the name Zumba. That's one thing, I do love words. I wonder if that's an Aspie trait. Well, Asperger's in autism basically is a it's a very cruel condition because it's invisible. Can't look at somebody and think, well, he's got Asperger's and got autism, but you can actually tell by but with some some of the actual people or some of, some of the younger ones that hasn't actually learnt to control the condition. Basically, they do act a little bit different from everyone else, but that, that's part of the part of the condition. Well, the more people you tell, the more people that, that actually do actually come to terms and actually do say, look, I've got Asperger's, I, I do apologise, basically, if I do act a bit different from anyone else. And basically, the more people you tell, the more people that you actually let them realise that you've got this condition is as well when people to actually come to the stages where they, they do accept it. I would not like anybody to go through what I've gone through for 40 years of diagnosing, you know, because they didn't understand what the condition was at that time. And I just hope that nobody else has to go through what I went through, like being penalised and feeling really, really upset and, you know, totally destroyed. <laughs> Some people with autism have intellectual disabilities. And around 40% of the people with intellectual disabilities may have autism. People who have autism spectrum conditions most commonly do not have intellectual disabilities. And it does not suggest that if someone has Asperger's or autism spectrum conditions, they have an intellectual disability. Uh, if you met someone with uh, an autism spectrum condition, you would not know that they have this uh, diagnosis from uh, the face of it. You, you may know that there's something within their social interaction that is not quite what you're used to, but you would not know that this is a, the, the diagnosis they might have. A lot of people with uh, autism spectrum conditions would like to be in employment, and it is for the employer to be to make it easier for them to be employed if they have the skills. It is very important for the public to understand autism and autism spectrum conditions because it involves humans who have a condition and if the public doesn't understand them and the condition, they're disadvantaged. Castle.